If you've ever wondered how to add a comment section to your blog using Elementor, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to add comments to your WordPress blog using Elementor. First, with the native WordPress comments, and then second with Facebook comments. Just a heads up, you do need Elementor Pro for this tutorial since we will be using the single post template. If you don't have the Pro version yet, I have a link for you in my description below. Here's a quick breakdown of the two options we're going to be working with today. WordPress comments are great for SEO and they give you full control over moderation and styling. This is perfect if you're building an audience and you want that engagement to boost your site. Facebook comments, on the other hand, are super convenient for people that are already logged into Facebook. They can comment without creating an account, but you give up a bit of customization and those comments don't count towards your site's SEO. Now let's get started with adding the native WordPress comments with Elementor. Okay, first thing we wanna do is sign into our WordPress website and make sure commenting is turned on. So go ahead and scroll down to settings on the left-hand side, and then we're going to click into discussion. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure this is selected right here where it says allow people to submit comments on new posts. Note that this is only gonna work for new posts and if you have comments shut off on old individual posts, you will have to go to each of those posts and then turn the comments back on. Now when you're done with that, go ahead and scroll down and then click save changes. Now we have to edit that single post template. So go ahead and under Elementor, you're going to see where it says templates and then go and click into theme builder. Again, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you won't be able to do this. And then click into single post on the left hand sidebar. And if you already have a single post template, you will see it here and we can edit it. But if not, you can go ahead and click add new in the top right and make a new one. But since we already have one here, we're just gonna click edit right here. Now we wanna figure out where on the page we want the comments and you're probably going to wanna put them under the blog post. And then we need to find the comments widget. So just go ahead and search for comments. And then go ahead and drag that post comments widget where you want it to go on the page. And then you can go ahead and customize how this looks on the left hand side as usual. There is only one skin available for comments right now, and this does take the style from your theme. The source field is gonna show where you want the comments to come from. If you want them to come from the post that the user is on, you can just keep it here for current post, but you also have the option to do custom where you pick the comments from a specific post and they show up. So that would be good if you wanted the comments from a specific post to show up somewhere else on your site but we are going to keep this one as current post for us. We can also go ahead and do advanced styles if we want. Like for example, this could use a margin because it is very close to my author box. So I'm just gonna put a 50 pixel margin right there. When you're done, don't forget to click publish in the top right. And then you could click the down arrow to view the page. And this is just sample data from the template. So to view an actual page, go ahead and click into a real blog post. And then when you scroll down here, you can see the comment area right there. Now let's pop back into single post template and get the Facebook comments on. So I'm going to right click and delete this widget. And then I am going to search for comments again and instead we are going to pull in for Facebook comments and drag that for where we want it to go. Now, if you accidentally get this in the wrong place, remember you can go into the structure, which used to be called navigator, now it's called structure. It's this icon in the top left right there. And from here, you can go ahead and drag things where you want to, to position them better. So I'm gonna drag the author box above that. I'm done with this, so I'm gonna close out and then I'm going to select the Facebook widget. And we see a note here that we have to set our Facebook app ID in the integration settings and we're going to do that. But first of all, this one also needs some padding. So I'm gonna go into advanced margin actually. We're gonna go ahead and put a 50 pixel top margin. And then we do have some settings here, but these are really easy to figure out what they are. 
So I'm going to click the down arrow in the top right and then go to save draft. And then I'm going to click the Elementor icon in the top left and I'm going to exit to WordPress. Next, let's go to Elementor and then settings and then click the integrations tab. Then scroll down to where it says uh, Facebook SDK right here. And now we have to make a Facebook application to put your app ID right here. And that may sound scary, but it's actually not. And we're going to do it together. So you want to go ahead and in another tab, go to developers.facebook.com. The link is also in my description and then click my apps in the top right. It may have you log in with your personal Facebook account. So go ahead and just do that. And my screen might look a little bit different from your screen because I have set up apps before, but you are going to want to find a create app button wherever that is and then click it. If this pops up, just go ahead and close out of it. And then you want to give your app a name. So I'm just going to name it the name of my website and then blog comments. And then you also want to add in an app contact email and then go ahead and click next. And then go ahead and click other and then click next again. And then we can choose consumer, which is just fine for blog comments and then click next again. And then you can go ahead and confirm your app name and your contact email. And then you can also select a business portfolio, which is optional if you have one. When you're done with that, click the create app button. And then after you do that, you're going to see your app ID near the top left. Now this, you want to keep this secret, which is why it's blurry for you right now, but go ahead and copy this number. And you can do that just by clicking on it and then paste it right here. And now you see here, it says, remember to add your domain to your app domains. So go ahead and pop back to the app tab. And then we want to go into app settings on the left and then click basic settings. And then we need to put our domain name here. So I'll put that. And then we also need to put our privacy policy URL here. So I will hop back into my website and then copy the URL from my privacy policy. And then I will paste it right there. And then I also need a data deletion URL, which tells people how they can contact you to delete data from your app. And that is also my privacy policy. So I'm just going to put that one right there. And then I'm going to click save changes in the bottom right. And then after that's done, now we can go ahead and turn on the app mode from development to live. And then after it's live, it should look like this. And then we can pop back into the other tab and we can scroll down and then click save changes. And now that that's done, let's go ahead and make those changes we made on the template to go live. So go ahead and hover over templates under Elementor, go back to theme builder, go back into single post and then edit that single post template. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit and just make sure it's still here and it is. And actually I want to make sure that this width is all the way full. So we're going to set this at full width 100% just because I think it looks nicer. And then we're going to click publish in the top right. And then we can click down and go to view page. But again, this is just going to show us the template. So to see a real blog post, let's go ahead and click into the home page and then scroll down and click into one of your blog posts. And then we can scroll down and we can see that our Facebook comments is working. And if you want to double check this, go ahead and sign out of your website. So I'm going to log out of my website because I always like to make sure I'm seeing it as a user that's visiting your site or my site. So I'm going to click back into here and scroll down. And this is the old WordPress comments. So I just logged back into my WordPress website, cleared my cache, logged out again. Now let's go ahead and click refresh. And now we see the Facebook comments and that's it. Now you know how to add blog comments to your WordPress website using Elementor with the native WordPress comment system and with Facebook comments. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. 
If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check out my description to download your free nine-step website roadmap to take your project from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.